obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. The present problem simulates the cooling of a turbine blade. Since the turbine produces work by converting thermal heat energy into mechanical energy, increasing the temperature and initial pressure of the fluid increases the heat energy of the fluid, thereby increasing the rate of conversion of thermal energy to mechanical energy and ultimately increasing work production. Therefore, one of the most important issues related to turbines is to study the cooling systems of turbine blades to increase the efficiency of turbine operation, reduce the thermal stresses caused by high temperature on the surface of the blades and finally increase the blade's lifetime. One of the most common methods of cooling in turbines is to use hollow blades. It means to make the inside of the blades empty in order to flow the coolant of airflow. This cooling process takes place through internal cavities in various ways such as convection, spraying, layering and perforation. The this figure shows a view of the turbine blade with a special cooling working holes. The present problem simulates the cooling of a turbine blades. To simplify the problem model, considering the symmetrical structure of the turbine body and its blades, only one blade is simulated. The main purpose of the problem is to investigate the temperature distribution and change in thermal energy on the body and turbine blade. Therefore, the process of simulating the model and defining the boundary conditions of the model performed in such a way that the fluid behavior focused on heat transfer. The cooling process in this model is based on the definition of cool airflow in an empty space in the inner walls of the blade. These inner walls have a series of holes to increase the contact surface with the cold flow and thus increase the cooling process. Therefore, the boundary condition of heat transfer has been used on the surface of the outer and inner walls of the blades, so that the outer surface of the blade and its lower body, which are under the hot working airflow of the system, have a transfer coefficient equal to 200 watts per cubic meter and the temperature of 1672 degrees of Kelvin and the inner surface of the blade which is cooled by the cold airflow has a heat transfer coefficient of again 200 under a cold flow of 300 degrees of Kelvin. The present three-dimensional model is drawn using the CATIA software and then imported into the design modeler software. The geometric structure of the model consists of a piece of turbine blade which includes the body of the turbine blade with a certain angle of curvature and cross sections of the airfoil, the inner wall with space and certain pores and the central base body under the blade or root. Uh, in fact, to simplify the problem due to the symmetry of blades, only modeling has been done for one blade. This figure shows a view of the geometry. Also, the meshing of the present model has been done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type is unstructured. The size of the grids in the areas adjacent to the inner cavities of the fins is smaller and more accurate. This figure shows the mesh. The simulation has been performed in both fluid and thermal states or heat transfer and also the simulation is a steady state and the effect of the gravity on the fluid is not considered. Also from the mesh display section we can see all the boundaries and their surfaces. And this is the root of the blade. As we are going to investigate the heat transfer phenomena in the blade turbine for the cooling phenomena, so it is necessary to activate the energy equation. All the walls, including blade, the inner wall, and also the root, are a stationary wall with no slip.
The simple algorithm in the solution method section uses a relationship between velocity and pressure corrections to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. Also, the pressure velocity coupling scheme controls, controls the manner in which pressure and velocity are updated. When the pressure based solver is used, the scheme can be either segregated, like simple, uh, that uh, pressure and velocity are updated uh, separately, or coupled, that uh, the pressure and velocity are updated simultaneously. Uh, ANSYS Fluent provides the following segregated types of algorithms uh, like simple, simple C, piezo, and fractional step or FSM. In general, segregated methods like simple that has been chosen in the CFD simulation are faster per iteration, while the couple algorithm usually requires fewer iteration to converge. Uh, you can use the residual monitors uh, dialog box to control the residual information that Fluent uh, software reports. In the equations section, the residual option indicates the name of each variable for which residual information is available. And the monitor indicates whether or not the residuals for each variable are to be monitored. You can toggle monitoring on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the monitor list on or off. The check convergence option indicates uh, whether or not the convergence of each variable is to be monitored. Uh, if convergence is being monitored, the solution will stop automatically when each variable meets its specified convergence criterion. You can check convergence only for variables for which you are monitoring residuals. You can toggle convergence checking on and off for each variable by turning the corresponding checkbox in the check convergent uh, list on or off. And finally, the absolute criteria uh, or relative criteria shows the re uh, residual value for which the solution of each variable will be considered to be converged. To set this value uh, manually, enter the new value in the corresponding absolute criteria field. And that's it. For obtaining every two-dimensional contour, we can uh, achieve th this desired contour on every plane that we want. X can constant, Z constant, or Y constant. In these results, we have identified two different planes, X and Y, that we are going to display all the contours on these two planes. Also, as the domain is filled by the air material so all the domain density is equal to the air density this is the temperature contour in both x and y constant planes as we can see the maximum temperatures are near the blade and the root and as we get close to the inner walls the temperature decreases dramatically the reason is that the inner wall temperature is equal to uh, 300 degree of Kelvin. That is more than 1,300 degree of Kelvin, less than the root and the blade temperature. So the convection occurred and this is the results of the temperature contour. Following this way, we show the geometry as a transparent geometry. Here is the summaries of the problem definition and problem solving steps in the table as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFT services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at Hope you enjoy.